guys, I know y'all ain't used to seeing me in the car, but my friend Dave is taking me to get the bike of my dreams. My guy Dave, yeah. There you go, my guy Dave. Yeah, Yeah. So, man, he's a really great guy. Uh, I work with him. He's taking me to get my bike. And uh, this is going to be the bike I plan on taking all across the country. So, man, this is an exciting time. I'm happy he's doing me this favor. And uh, just stay tuned because it's going to surprise me and my guy Dave. <laughs> Check you back in a second. Okay, guys. Me and my guy Dave, we walking up to Trick. We finna see what this bike looks like. I already know, man, I'm gonna be excited, but uh, here's the beginning of a new journey. Let's check it out. There it is. There it is, guys. The Trick 520 Grando. I've been waiting on this bike forever. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Oh man, I'm so excited. Look at this beauty. Oh man. Hey, I'm letting you know. I'm super happy. Did you fix it? You put it together? Well, I didn't put it together. I just double checked it. I don't care. He put it together. I'm putting him on screen. He put it together. <laughs> super happy. Look at Dave. Dave, what you think, Dave? Yeah, beautiful. It's a, pr yeah, it's it's a pretty, pretty man. It's a, pretty it's a beautiful bike. bike. Yeah. It's a beautiful. Hey, they didn't include the uh, rack on the front, though, I see. It's supposed to come with a rack. That didn't even. Yeah. Hey guys, it's probably been about a couple of weeks since Dave took me to the bike shop to pick up this beauty of a bike. My dream bike, the Trick 520 Grando, man. I'm so happy to have it. And as you remember, when I first went to pick this baby up, I did not have a front rack. Uh, because the good people over at Bike World Ames, where I bought this bike, they actually sent me the wrong rack. They sent me a rack for a 920, a Trek 920. And man, I was a bit upset. Uh, I didn't really let it show, but uh, I didn't really love that. But what happened was, I was just dealing with some great people, man, over at Trek. A guy named Jeremy. Most importantly, a guy named Morgan, man. He said, Jay, I just want you to stay happy. He said, don't worry about this front rack. Take the bike home. He said, let me worry about the front rack. And man, he looked all over the country and they didn't have any racks. But he did find one for me. It was a blessing. And if you ever come to Memphis, go to Trek in East Memphis. Any Trek is amazing. But the Trek in East Memphis over there with Morgan, man, he is probably the best retail, you know, helper, salesman, whatever you want to call him, that I've ever dealt with, man. He just really made my bike buying experience amazing. And like I said, I didn't buy the bike from them, but he went out his way uh, to make it a pleasant experience. Man, I threw, personally, I threw some Schwabble Marathon tires on here, man. Uh because uh, I want to avoid all flats. Got me some Schwabble Marathon tires. My bike actually didn't come with the pedals it was supposed to come with either. But who took care of me? Morgan at Trek, man. Trek is amazing. And uh, like I said, this back rack, I actually just threw that on here myself. I still have to cut some of the excess excess aluminum off of that rack from underneath but i just put it on because i wanted the back rack on there just to see what it was going to look like i actually sort of messed it up over there i don't know if you can see but i ain't mess it up but i need to cut it off right there and i tried to cut it off with something that can't cut it <laughs> but man i'm so happy overjoyed uh unless god you know changes my plans this will probably be the bike that i race in the Great Divide mountain bike race, man. From Canada to Mexico. Uh, it's another bike I've been eyeing on, but when I first originally got this bike, I was like, yeah, I'm going to ride across the country, you know, on this bike. So, um, I, wasn't, I wasn't even thinking about racing this bike, man. But God just put this dream in my heart to say, hey, man, 
getting this race. And uh, this is the bike that I plan on using. Still don't know exactly what I need to add to it or anything, but I'm just overjoyed that it's in my possession. I want to show you guys right quick. Uh, you know, I'll probably change that seat out to a Brooks saddle, you know, for comfort. Uh, add me some bags back here. Not too many for the race, though. I'm going to get me a full set of panniers, but for the race, I don't know exactly how I'm going to deck this baby out. I'm going to probably take that rear rack off and uh, ride a saddle bag. And uh, I'll probably leave the front racks on, honestly. And just do something different. Uh, I'll leave the flat pedals on more than likely. Uh, because I'm not really skilled at riding, riding clipped in. So, I'll be riding old fashioned. But man, I'm really just wanting to say thank you to Morgan. The people at Trek, man. They, they really made the buying experience pleasant. And I will say about Bike World Ames, uh, once he really did finally reach back out to me, because at first they didn't write quite reach out to me, you know, when I first contacted them. But when he did respond, he was like, man, I'm sorry. Uh, stop scratching over there, yo. My cat over there. But yeah, uh, he said, man, I'm really sorry that I messed this order up. And, man, you know what? He did go out of his way to, to make it up to me. He says he's going to send me some more pedals, uh, even though I, I bought those already. And uh, he did some other things to make me feel whole as a customer. So I do suggest that you can buy from Bike World Ames. Uh, they are good people. But I'm more overblown with Trek and their commitment to making you feel so good as a customer. And then, like I said, if you ever come to Memphis, Go to Trek in East Memphis and visit Morgan. And uh, this isn't the end of this video, man. Uh, so just stay with me. I plan on jumping on this bike, you know, tomorrow. And uh, letting you guys meet uh, Morgan, man. Whether it's tomorrow or the next day, uh, whenever this video continues, that's where I'll be heading. But as for right now, man, I'm pleased with this baby. Oh, and this is my first time ever using... Uh, the shifters on a bar end like this, the uh, integrated shifters, man. And uh, when I first jumped on the bike, Morgan was like, man, you don't even know how to ride this bike. You don't even deserve this bike. And man, he actually taught me how to ride the bike, man. So uh, I just love uh, this Trek 520 Grando. And man, I'm so appreciative to the people at Trek, man. They are amazing people. Uh, they've hired a great guy in Morgan. And I talked to a couple of people in other Trek stores, and they seem to be amazing, too. Uh, I'm happy that my first, you know, true upper-end bike came from Trek, and it's a Trek 520 Grando. Like I said, man, it's the beginning of a whole new journey. I'm super happy. So uh, stay with me on this video, man, and uh, I'm going to take a little adventure uh, before this video is over. But yeah, this is a beauty, baby. A beauty. Man, I love this bike. Me and this bike are going to do some great things. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys. I'm out and about, man. I left my day job. I'm headed up here to Trek. Uh, like I said, to talk to Morgan, man. Let you guys meet him. He's a great guy, representative of Trek. And like I said, even though I bought my bike somewhere else, man, Trek really put me at ease and made me happy with the bike buying process, man. So we're gonna head up there and see what the hell they're doing. I think I put about five or six miles in coming from the job, going up all type of hills and stuff, getting a little training in for this race I'm gonna enter. But as of right now, man, I'm gonna check back in with you when I get a little closer, when I get a little closer to Trek. intersection and all the cars were stopped and guess who kept going 
me on this bike. It ain't been many things I've come across where my bike couldn't keep riding, but cars have to stop. Man, I love this damn bike, man. Not only this bike, but any damn bike. I promise you, bro. Yeah, baby. We still rolling. You didn't stop me. You stopped them, but you didn't stop me. You know why? Because I'm on a damn bike. To Trek, we go. Yeah, baby. It's a nice thing around here. I'm pulling back up to Trek, baby. We finna step in here and see my guy Morgan, man. The guy who made everything happen and ease the transition to me getting a new bike, baby. Yeah. Here he is, guys. The man I've been talking about, my friend Morgan. Uh, like I say, he's done amazing things for me. Look, he's helping out a family right now, man. Uh, a trick, trick has a gold mine with this guy. Uh, one of the best sales people, if not the best sales person I've ever had to deal with. He made my bike experience absolutely amazing. You see this bike right here? This is what Morgan helped me feel more comfortable with. Had problems. Uh, he made everything work for me. And I said I had to ride up here to see you. How you doing today, man? Doing great, man. Doing great. Um, on down. I think, like I say, Trick has a wonder in you, uh, Jeremy, the whole team here. Uh, all the Trick is amazing. Uh, Thanks, yeah. Guys. Yeah. And um, like I say, always helping people. You got anything to say about just Trek in general and how, how great you guys are oh, and man. how you got your way to help people? No, man, we're just excited to help help customers get people on bikes, right? That's right. What makes the world go around. So. And uh, this bike is actually going on the Great Divide Trail in a few months. And uh, I got a few questions I'm going to ask you actually off camera, but um, I definitely just wanted to show people you, man. I appreciate you for even getting on camera. Uh, you're a great guy, like I say. Trick, I'm sending this film right to you. So uh, whatever you can do to accommodate this guy, uh, like I say, uh, he made me really feel good about getting my bike. He put me at ease. Uh, his customer service was out of this world. And like I said, I don't want to take my bike anywhere but Trick. I was already going to do it, but this guy Morgan here really elevated that feeling for more me, and I want to thank you, man, again. I'm happy to. For, happy uh, to. You know, doing it for me. And, uh, Glad like to do it, Jay. Thank Glad you, man. Good, and like I say, anything you got to say about people who want to ride bikes or why they should ride bikes or anything? Come on down. Come on yeah. down. Yeah, makes, makes the world a better place, right? Memphis, Tennessee, East Memphis. Trek, you know, you can go to any trek, but if you come here and see Morgan, I guarantee you're going to have a great experience. So with all that said, I'm not, I'm going to get him off camera. I'm not going to put him on the spot anymore, but I had to let you guys see who I was talking about. And if you ever come here, you know, definitely ask for him, man. He's an amazing person. So thank you, man. Thank you, Morgan. Ooh, man, I'm leaving Trek right now. Uh, I just got through talking to Morgan. He gave me a wealth of knowledge, man, on the Great Divide, on all the supplies I'm gonna need. And man, it is a lot. But me and him were laughing, cause boy, this is gonna be an adventure for a lifetime, man. Uh, part of the fun is I don't know what the hell I'm doing or what I'm getting into. So man, uh, it's a lot for me to digest. And speaking of digest, I'm finna head to go get a little Mexican food right about now well guys here's my quesadilla a little cilantro a little sour cream boy it's gonna be absolutely amazing eating it i got my tacos wrapped up right there so i'm not gonna undo those right now but uh that's gonna be my bike food when i get home baby yeah man it's been a hell of a trip probably about halfway home now man I'm just overwhelmed, though, man, with life, with the opportunity God pre presents, rather. Uh, I promise you, this bit, this dream seems so big. It seems way over my head, man. And that's what's so beautiful about it. I, I can't even believe that God put this dream in my heart, man, to ride. And not only ride, but race in the Great Divide. Talking to Morgan, people that trek. I'm overwhelmed. I'm happy with this beautiful bike that I have, man. He was telling me, yeah, you know, it's probably not built to race, but it's built for that trail. And I said, you know what? 
It's gonna be built to race this time. I'm just a happy camper, man. I'm blessed, on the way home. Got some good food to eat when I get there. And uh, the whole more of this video is, man, go for your dreams. Believe in something bigger than you think you can accomplish. And let God do the rest, man. I'm super happy. Stay tuned to the journey, man. No matter what you're doing out there, I always remember one thing. You can get wherever the hell you want to go. All you got to do is get on your bike and take a ride.